what's going on you guys this is madam and i'm coming back to you again this is from boss and the boss of staff and the article is by lex directs and it's about lamar odom okay it says the judge orders lamar odom to pay three hundred and eighty thousand dollars after skipping support payments for more than a year <laughs> mm. Okay. The article starts off by saying retired NBA champion Lamar Odom's most expensive flight isn't his celebrity boxing match. It's the legal battle he recently lost against ex Lisa Morales. According to TMZ, Odom was ordered to pay more than $380,000 after a judge ruled that he has not paid any support anything excuse me anything in support payments since june of 2020 which morales argues was a violation of their 2015 settlement agreement odom also refused to make any court appearances for the matter but repeatedly pled his case in heated social media posts and exchanged with morales and his now deleted statement about the deadbeat accusation, Odom maintained that he still supports his children, but shouldn't owe his ex-girlfriend now that those children are grown. Mm. However, in the state of New York where Morale lives with Destiny age 23 and Lamar Jr. age 19, child support is enforced until the age of 21. Court documents indic indicate that 380549 is what Odom is ordered to pay, includes 163000 for college tuition and expenses, 91000 in delinquent child support. Morales, I apologize if I uh, butchered her last name, legal expenses and 88000 and miss rent for the Manhattan apartment she shares with the children. Page 6 also reported that the judge ordered uh, Odom to fund $1 million worth of life insurance with Morales as the beneficiary or she may enter a judgment against Lamar Odom for an additional million dollars. <laughs> wow. A judge blasted Odom last month for missed child support payments and leaving his family to face eviction despite windfall from his boxing match against Aaron Carter. Lamar knows the court will be watching his pockets closely for the next celebrity boxing match. In October, he's getting in the ring with someone his own size, former heavyweight boxing champion, Roderick Bowe. So that's a short story. Um, just wanted to bring it to you guys about what's going on in the world of celebrities. Um, the things that don't get published um, for small YouTubers like ourselves. Um, I am going to scour the internet to see if there's any more interesting stories that I can talk about. Um, in regards to this story, I just like, bro, like, they get kids. <laughs> like, like, I mean, like, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. And, and this is the one thing that I want to say about, you know, fathers in general. Um, you know, take the race out of it, fathers in general. Um, there are some excellent, outstanding fathers um, in this world. Um, there are some great, awesome fathers uh, that have been in to position, regardless if they were in a position to financially take care of their children the way they wanted to or they didn't, they always made a way. And I feel like I should take a moment out to recognize the great fathers in this world because honestly they don't get enough recognition as is um and, and especially on 
fathers day they definitely don't get a lot of recognitions um this is not to take away from the single mothers that are out here down and in this world holding it down for their children um much respect to you you know nevertheless um I think it's also noteworthy to point out the fathers, the grandfathers, the uncles that turned into fathers um, to raise their nieces and nephews. Um, outstanding work, outstanding job. Um, know that some of us women in this world are very proud of you and can please continue to be the strong father figure that you can be. On the other hand, with that being said, there are some gentlemen out here in the world that feel like they do the bare minimum to get the recognition. Oh, I paid child support. Oh, I did this. I did that. That's your child. That's your legacy. And I, and, I, and and the crazy thing about it for me is that a lot of people don't look at their children as such. Your child is your legacy. Um, your ch- your child is not your burden. My apologies about that, you guys. Um, I had a pop-up pop-up, so um, that's what it was. But um, just to continue on, you know, what I was saying, you know, um, you know, don't look at your children as a burden or an extra bill or an expense. Your children are your legacy. Long after we are gone, your children will tell the tale. Um, why not leave something in this world that people will look up to and admire? Um, it starts at home. You understand, regardless of what the situation is, I understand there's different um, versions and variants of, uh, you know, I can't stand the baby mother. Don't punish the child because you can't stand the mother or vice versa. Um, you know, just, you know, it's about the children at the end of the day. You know, if you, you bring them up, you teach them the right way to go so they can be good, productive members of society when they do grow up and they won't become somebody else's burden that didn't ask for it, okay? Message. But with that being said, you guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming past my channel. As always, I am so grateful to have your comments in the comment section so please don't forget to like subscribe and drop down let me know what you think about this uh your opinion good bad or indifferent i accept and love them all um you have a right to be heard just like anyone else so with that being said you guys i will talk to you in the next video take care